What is Arctic char? Char is closely related to our trout and salmon and have a similar appearance. Unlike trout and salmon, which have darker spots, they have a pale spotted pattern over typically green or blue flanks. During spawning time, the males develop a deep red underbelly typical of genus Salivinus. However, in Ireland, the distribution of char was always quite widespread, particularly in western counties, though it may become rare if the present rate of extinction continues. Most of the populations of char in Ireland featured diminutive fish. However, they are not a true dwarf race as the size is not dictated solely by genetics. Irish char are small compared to Andronomous char, but their size range is typical of other European landlocked populations. It is thought that char in Loch Owl may have reached weights of up to 1.4 kg, but this may never be known as its population is now extinct. Most populations occur in deep mountain lakes in the west, from Donegal to Kerry, for example, Loch Eski in County Sligo. In the last century, populations existed in the Midlands and along the east coast, but all of these are now possibly extinct. Arctic char from the Arctic Circle displays the most dramatic colours during the spawning season. These fish would have fed at sea among the icebergs of the high north. Here they form an important part of the diet of the Inuit. Arctic char in Europe is also under threat. In the past few decades, more char populations have been lost to pollution and development than in the previous centuries. This makes the remaining populations all the more valuable and vulnerable. Unfortunately, there are a few projects in these counties which aim to protect the remaining populations of char. Why save Arctic char? They were the first fish to colonise Ireland after the last ice age over 10,000 years ago. These beautiful and mysterious fish are now rare and populations are disappearing at an alarming rate. 40% of known Irish populations are now extinct. Arctic char are good indicators of clean water. They also possess unique scientific attributes and are an important component of our native biodiversity. Arctic char were first recorded in Loch in 1945. 30 specimens were caught between 1966 and 1974. Mr Matt Nolan and his colleague Joe Roke of Inland Fisheries Ireland set up Ginnetty in 1972. The report having caught 25 Arctic char, all one pound weight and in excellent condition. Loch Nabak in North County Longford is famous for its relatively high elevation and significant depth of 10 metres. Loch Nabak is recorded as having contained a population of Arctic char known in Irish as Rua Brack. In Irish, Loch Nabak translates to Lake of the Trout. The second largest eel on record in Ireland was caught in Loch Nabak on the 4th of April 1982, weighing 6 pounds 4 ounces. Loch Nabak is designated as a proposed national heritage area within the Longford County Development Plan. The lake was subsequently categorised as moderately eutropic in 1982 and a gill netting survey in 1984 failed to capture any char. Core sediments from the lake bed were examined in the year 2000 and revealed a slight enrichment in the late 1970s. Known locally as the Black Trout from Loch Nabak, seven local fishermen have claimed to have caught char in the years since the enrichment event of the late 1970s. John Ross from Yorkshire presented a specimen caught in Loch Nabak to the Breffney Arms Hotel in the mid-1980s, the most recent claim being made in 2008. 
on the advice of Dr. Fran Igo of the Arctic Charred Society, three province heritage have embarked on the quest to definitively answer the questions as to the presence of Arctic char in Loch Dabag. Together with Longford County Council and Jans Carlson of UCD, three province heritage are conducting an environmental DNA study. Sampling will be conducted during the summer months of 2021 and again during the spawning season in November. It is unlikely that char survived in Loch Dabag due to pollution, the introduction of non-native species, habitat destruction and global warming. Once it is proving that char have gone extinct in Loch Nabak, we can move on to the next phase in the history of Arctic char, the reintroduction. <laughs>